VW Touareg 7P driver's door card. So this will cover both the front doors, they're exactly the same. So the only screw that we've got externally is this single T25 torque screw underneath. Then to, rec to uncover the remaining screws, which are all T30, we need to remove the armrest on the door with the window switches. We need to split the interior handle and we need to remove this piece of trim here. Disconnect the connector. So the piece of metal that came out was just one of the one of the uh, places that the the armrest clicks in. A T30 torx screw here. T30 torx screw here. T30 torque screw here. And then we've got a T30 torque screw in this hole here. These ones often don't come out until the door cards come off, so make sure if you are working outside or somewhere that you remember that this, this will probably drop out unless you've got a magnet. Or maybe even tape over the hole until you've got the door card fully off. So now there's, there aren't any more screws holding the door card on. We've just got some really strong trim clips. And what we need to do is we need to get up behind the door card try a small trim tool first and then a larger one and some of these clips are gonna stay stuck to the door card and not not come out correctly and some of them will unclip as they should but they're all pretty
And once all the clips are loose or broken, then the door card is just held in the channel at the top, so like clipped in. Clipped into this channel here. First, if we unclip the, the handle, so we've got the mechanism for the, the latch, where the cable goes into, which appears to have been off before because it's broken. Pull the there's a plastic bit back and then it will just lift out of the latch so as this bit this bit here you just pull that back and now disconnects the wiring so We've got a small connector here, which appears to just be for the tweeter. And then we've got the main connection to the door module. So what happens is some of the clips come out correctly and they unlock and they stay in the door card. Some of them don't unlock and they come out of the door and stay in the door card. And some of them don't unlock and they separate from the door card and stay in the door. And I found that with Bojo Tip 90, you can unlock them from the door pretty easily. And we can put these back into position. So we've got a small, a thin collar and a thicker collar, which go on either side of the plastic. Now this is a clip that hasn't unlocked and has stayed in the door card. So it's been pulled out of the, the door without being reset. And they're a bit tricky but we'll need to reset them in order to refit the door card correctly. I think that might have been the only one. So four of them stayed in the door and one of them that stayed in the door card didn't unlock. The rest are all unlocked correctly, so that's pretty good. None of them are broken. So now with all the original clips pushed fully into position, so make sure that they, they're all in position because it, it matters that they're all lined up with the holes on the door. We can reconnect the electrical connectors. Reconnects the, the door latch, interior handle mechanism. I may have to cut a piece of video from the from a different door 
in order to show you because obviously this one's broken. Uh, it, was, it was still working all right, but I can't show correctly refitting it, but it's sort of, you put the front end in first and then clip it into position, but I'll show you with a different piece of video. Get the top of the door card back in the groove. And once it's correctly in the groove and in the right position on the door, all the clips should line up with the holes. And if you peek, if you peek behind the door card, I'm going to start at the, the upper ones and then the rest should just all go into the correct position naturally. And you're just pressing them all until they lock. Refit all the screws, including the one that dropped out from behind the door handle. And finally, just refit all the trim. I find if you bend out the, the back on this, it makes it a little bit easier to get it in because it sits behind the door handle. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped. If it has, please do leave a comment. For more videos on this car and many, many others, please do check out my channel.